What's good guys? Today is Sunday, November 29th, 2020. I wanted to do a video for those that are interested in the Kanika Jenkins case and specifically as it relates to Selena Gomez and her kidney transplant because I have heard about enough of it. And so I wanted to get it out there so that we can iron this out um, one final time because it's completely untrue and I don't even know where that came from. I don't care where it came from. It's completely false. Um, this article is from 9-14-2017. So this would have been four days after Kanika was found. And it's from 3.36 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Selena Gomez underwent a kidney transplant this summer. <laughs> and the donor was her best friend. I'm going to read that one more time. Selena Gomez underwent a kidney transplant this summer, which would have been the summer of 2017, and the donor was her best friend. Selena posted this pic post-surgery of her and kidney donor Francia Reza. She said, I'm very aware some of my fans had noticed I was laying low for part of the summer and questioning why I wasn't promoting my new music, which I was extremely proud of. Selena goes on, so I found out I need to get a kidney transplant due to my lupus and was recovering. It was what I needed to do for my overall health. There's a picture that she tweeted out. And then she thanks her friend, quote, there aren't words to describe how I can possibly thank my beautiful friend, Francia Reza. She gave me the ultimate gift, end quote. That's a picture of her and her friend. So, right there, it lays it out for you. This happened, her, her transplant happened in the summer of 2017. Well, if Kanika was found on September the 10th, how in the hell could she have possibly given a kidney um, or had a kidney stolen from her? It doesn't make any sense, people. Please use your brains. When you repeat things, you have to figure out where it comes from. You have to do your research. This is from 10-27-2017. Selena Gomez, I couldn't ask anyone for a kidney. Francia volunteered. She was on the verge of death and couldn't bring herself to ask a friend or relative to give up a kidney, but that's when Francia Reza stepped up and offered hers. Selena told NBC Today her kidneys were just done. She sounds like she was ready to give up at that point because she was unwilling to ask someone to make the sacrifice. Francia was with her during the interview and Selena got emotional as she explained how her friend volunteered and literally saved her life. That is an image of the two of them at the hospital. So can we please stop with that? And when I read that word sacrifice, don't take that to mean something that it's not. So no, she did not mean sacrifice as in sacrificing someone. She meant that her friend um, or her relatives, she didn't want to ask anyone to make that sacrifice. A lot goes into donating a kidney. Um, that's, a, that's a lot to ask someone for a kidney. And the reason it all came up is because um, the new Say by the Bell reboot were making jokes about Selena Gomez and her kidney. And when I saw the article roll across my phone, I was like, yeah, I'm getting ready to to pull this stuff up and just do one final video on it because I want you to see that it's being said not just in the Kanika Jenkins community but this kind of will give you an idea of how silly it sounds it says Selena Gomez was the butt of a couple of jokes on the Saved by the Bell reboot which was considered in bad taste and which even more are raging over mega fans of the pop star found two references to, to, to Selena's 2017 kidney transplant and the new Peacock series that just dropped in full this past Wednesday, and then made, quote, respect Selena Gomez, end quote, trend online Saturday as a result of their fury. Now, if this video doesn't show you how silly you sound when you say that, I don't know what will help you. 
but it's literally being said across all platforms. Okay, I'm gonna play this. Oh, this is kidney donor was Justin Bieber's mom. God, I wish that I had my phone so that I could prove it. Prove what? That you're an idiot? It was Demi Lovato's kidney. They're best friends, like you and I were. Now I know for a fact that Selena Gomez's kidney donor was Justin Bieber's mom. God, I wish that I had my phone so that I could prove it. Prove what? That you're an idiot? It was Demi Lovato's kidney. They're best friends, like you and I were. Now I know for a fact that Selena... So you can see that I understand. Well, I understand it was in poor taste. Um, it's being said in the Kanika Jenkins community. Now it's saying Justin Bieber's mom gave her the kidney. Jimmy Lovato. So you can kind of see where it goes. Um, it's silly. And that was the point by Peacock. So I totally get it. But there was another um, scene where it was wrote on the wall behind the people. Um, I'll play that video as well. I am hot. And sometimes I can't be dumb. Like right now, for instance, I'm being dumb enough to think that the amazing day we just had together means more than one bad text. It says on the wall, does Selena Gomez, <clears throat> excuse me, even have a kidney? So you can see where it goes. Um, it says, here's what we'll say. The Selena cracks are weird and definitely cringeworthy. Also, they're super dated. Selena had her procedure done three full years ago. So bringing it up as a running gag in 2020 is tired, especially when everyone knows her friend Francia Reza was the true donor, which was well documented. And again, the photo. <clears throat> so can we please clear that up? Please stop saying that. When I hear that come out, I know <laughs> um, that someone hasn't done their research. When I hear someone say that, that lets me know that you haven't done your research. So please, um, if you need to check something else, please do so. But this happened in the summer of 2017. Kanika didn't pass away until September of 2017. So with that, I'm going to end this. You guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.